Hey guys, Coach Katie here with Coach Josh. We're gonna show you this week's Tabata workout. So there's going to be five stations, two exercises each station. You'll do the first exercise for 20 seconds, then you have 10 seconds to switch. You'll do the second exercise for 20 seconds. Four sets of each exercise at each station, and we're going through the room one time. You ready, Josh? Go. Okay, on the ropes, you're gonna get into a half kneeling position. You want your front foot on the black floor, toes tucked under on that back foot, squeezing that back glute, and then with that rope, you're taking it up and over that front leg. Side to side plans, keep your core tight. Use those arms, take that rope up and over, still slamming as hard as you can. If you want an extra challenge, keep that back knee off the floor. It's really gonna challenge your balance here. When you come back to that one in the second round, you'll switch which knee is in front, okay? Second exercise here is drop squat. So, fast feet here, feet apart, go down. Feet together at the top, think nice, tall posture at the top. If you need to take that impact out, just step your feet apart and touch down for the floor, keeping your chest up. Okay, that's station number one. Station number two is over on the TRX. You will get into these TRX for your sprinter start. So for sprinter starts, remember we have those TRX, they go under your arms, your hands are right in your armpits, you're squeezing your shoulder blade, you're leaning here forward, you're gonna take one step back and this is where you start. Now right now Josh is working his left leg, driving that right knee up to his chest, keeping his balance on the left foot here on his toes, driving that knee up. If you want an extra challenge, you can put that hop in there where you hop up and then you have to hop back to get back to that starting position keeping those hands at your armpits here, squeezing those shoulder blades. Second exercise, when you come back to that one, you'll work the other leg. Second exercise at this station is reverse flies. So, you're gonna keep a soft bend in your elbows, palms facing each other, open those arms out to the side here, squeezing your shoulder blades, and then nice and controlled on the way back down, while keeping just a soft bend in the elbows. Make sure your shoulders stay down and away from your ears, and notice how Josh moves his body in that plank position, and nice and controlled as he closes it back up. Okay, back and forth on those two. Third station is going to be in this area of the blue floor. You're gonna start with side lunges. So you're gonna step your feet apart, reaching down for that foot with the opposite arms. So you're reaching over, sitting into that front um, leg here, okay, and then pushing yourself back up with the leg that's lunging to the side. Second exercise here is those pull squats. So you're gonna get down into a squat and you're not gonna come all the way out of it. So you're gonna stay nice and low. And here you're just pulsing up and down, keeping your knees apart, chest up, and you wanna go as fast as you can where you're pulsing up, down, up, down, keeping those knees apart. It's a burner. Station number four, you'll start with leg with the bag holder. So we'll have our bags out in this area of the blue floor. Shoulders are right over the wrist. Make sure that bag stays right under your stomach here, okay? You don't want it up over your chest, right under the belly button. The slower you go, the harder it's gonna be, so challenge yourself with your pace here. Nice and controlled. Notice Josh keeps his hips nice and parallel to the floor as he pulls that bag across. Now he's pulling to the left with the left arm. When he pulls to the right, he'll pull with his right arm. Then you'll come up for exercise number two, which is squat lunges. So, you're gonna start in a squat position, and then you're stepping back into that lunge, dropping that knee as close to the floor without touching, but when you step out of the lunge, you're staying down in that squat position. If you need to, for any reason, come out of the squat, give your legs a break here for a second, and then go back into it. If you need to take the lunges out for any knee problems, just practice some, lunge, um, sorry, some squats over here. I'm like, where'd it go? <laughs> okay, last station is over here. And you're gonna do those triple squat lunges. So, you're going to get a lunge in, and then another reverse lunge on the other side, and then up into a squat. Again, reverse lunge, reverse lunge on the other leg, and then come up into a squat. If you wanna put a challenge in there, you can put that jump in, where you're doing a lunge jump, lunge jump, and then a squat jump. And here Josh is showing you with the dumbbells. That's also an extra challenge. If you wanna go body weight instead, just drop the dumbbells off, don't drop them, put them on the floor, and go into those uh, triple squats. Second exercise at this station is going to be stir the pot. So we'll have the balls out here, forearms on the ball. Notice how Josh has a nice space between his chest and the ball. He's pushing himself away from the ball, and he's making those nice big circles in one direction, and then reversing going in the other direction. You can also do this from your knees, but make sure your knees are behind your hips. Your other option would just be to hold a plank 
on that ball. Make sure you're driving your back up to the ceiling, squeezing those glutes, and holding that nice solid plank on that ball. Okay, it looks like a good one, you guys. Nice job, Josh.